Hi there, students. Shade, tone, hue, tint, and tinge. Okay, these are words I want to co concentrate on their meaning when it refers to colours. These words can, most of them, refer to other things as well. So, shade. A shade of blue, a shade of green. It's talking about the intensity of a colour. Um, I've painted my room with uh, several different shades of pink. Normally the different shades, it depends how dark the colour is. Um, the, there are different shades of colour. So dark and light blue, these are different shades of blue. Um, a tone, okay, with blue tones. Again, the tone, this is the quality of a colour. But the tone, this is the harmony, the way the colours go together. A blue, a bluish tone, a dark tone. Um, it was um, the whole picture had many different colours, but they, 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 they had an overall bluish tone. It's the, the quality, it, it's something that expresses the quality of the, uh, the colour. The form of the colour, warm tones of brown and yellow. So tones, that these tones are brown and yellow, slightly different, different pieces. Um, I think tones and shades. So I think shades, there is more difference between the shades. The tones is more one after another in a continuum. Um, a hue, a hue is a colour. So um, the degree of lightness, the darkness, the strength of a colour. Um, in the forest in summer, there are leaves of every hue of green. There were flowers of every hue, every different type, every different um, possible colour. Um, but a hue, a colour, the particular degree of light or dark of a colour. So this is... Um, red with a dark hue. This is red with a bluish um, tone, a bluish shade, a bluish hue. Now, tint. Okay, tint is a slight colouring, a small amount of colour. And it's quite difficult to differentiate this between a tinge. So... I'm getting old. Well, no, I'm past that point. He's he is getting old, and his hair is starting to show tinges of grey, little amounts of colour. But what he will probably do is he will tint his hair. He will add a small amount of uh, of colour to it. Okay, you could have white with a tint of pink in it and it gives you a very light white light pink color there is a tinge of yellow in this so notice you could have a tinge of envy or a tinge of jealousy but a, t uh, a tint particularly with hair um you you tint your hair you put you could put blonde tints in your hair um a tinge is a small amount of a small amount of uh, of a color um, so a tinge, a small added amount of colour um, and a tint is a slight colouring, a pale tinge of any colour, a little, little piece of it. And I think the shades of meaning between this, these are very close. So shades of blue, if you take white and tint it with pink, then you have a different shade of white. This is white that's tinted with yellow, but also has a tinge of reddish-brown in it. 
the hue is talking about the intensity of the color it's talking about the light the light how bright it is with uh, a tinge or with a with a, the hue it's a red hue it's a dark hue there are every um, uh, fish of every hue and then the tone the tone is the overall harmony is the overall uh, harmony of everything going going together there are many different tones of uh, pink within this so let's see all of these words I'm going to give five shade five informality tone five hue maybe six but still use anywhere tint five informality tinge five informality um, shade comes from uh, Proto-Germanic scadwas shadow or shade tone comes from Latin uh, tonus sound tonos in ancient Greek uh, strain or tension or pitch um, hue comes from uh, Proto-Germanic hewija hue form shape as well tint um, comes from Latin tinctus died and tinge comes from latin tingere from tingo to dip to color to dye as well so shade tone hue tinge and tint <laughs>